When we are talking about the GPT OSS release that was made by OpenAI, we're not comparing it to models like Opus 4.1 or Gemini 2.5 Pro. What we're really talking about is what this means to consumers like you and me, especially for the OSS 20 billion model. And you might be saying, great, this is yet another model that I need to know about. And you're probably right, because in a few weeks, GPT OSS model will likely be beaten by Chinese open models. And in fact, the Quen team from Alibaba probably already beat it by now. So here's a reason why the release of GPT OSS model really matters. To put things into perspective, since the release of GPT-3 back in 2020, where we saw the size of the model jump from 1.5 billion to 175 billion parameters, going from GPT-2 to GPT-3. And for further reference, GPT-4 is rumored to have 1.7 trillion parameters, which is more than 1,000 times bigger than the GPT-2. Well, we've come a full circle back five years later, and now the GPT OSS model was not only released with the 20 and 120 billion in size, they also perform to the equivalent of O4 Mini and O3 model respectively. And you might be wondering, but aren't Chinese models already doing this? Even though we have seen so much advancements from Chinese open models, this particular release made by OpenAI is making a bigger ripple in the industry, largely due to OpenAI's established reputation as the leader in this space. So even though GPT OSS falls behind existing models put forward by Chinese counterparts, it continues to get more attention because of American companies just get more media coverage even when Chinese models have been killing it in the shadows. All that to say, because OpenAI is viewed as the leader in the space, even the fact that they release an open model has few implications despite the fact that they are falling behind. OpenAI's release of GPT OSS is certainly exciting because it validates something critical, which is this. There's value in competing in the consumer level hardware large language model. Meaning, OpenAI is recognizing the importance of releasing small models that everyone can run on their own, even though they might not monetize from it. For frame of reference, here are the models that GPT OSS is competing against for the 20 billion version. Quen 3 4 billion, Quen 3 14 billion, GLM 4.5 Air, and the DeepSeek V3. And you might be looking at this list and think, man, I just really don't think I'll use any of these models. And you're probably right. If you haven't used them already, you probably won't. So the real question then is, why should I even bother caring about this at all? If you haven't tuned out of the AI industry for even one month, it's likely that you never even heard of these models in the first place. And frankly, all of these models that you see on this list will likely be rendered outdated in a matter of months. So what gives? The true reason why the GPT OSS model really matters at the end of the day is what it implies. Before, the public largely only cared about how good these models actually ran because the difference between 500 billion to a trillion parameters in size didn't really mean much because they were both unattainable to even consider it running in locally. But now, you can't just simply hide behind scaling the model to get better performance. Rather, they need to demonstrate that the model is able to fight above its weight class. This is largely due to the fact that the cost of intelligence has been getting cheaper, which means the margin is eroding for LLM providers to train huge models and justify spending large amounts of money to cover up for bad data or bad architecture or bad training technique. On a personal level, I'm a amazed by the simple fact that we are essentially able to compress our collective human knowledge into something so small that we can soon have it run on our phone, just like downloading an app like Angry Bird on your phone. So the release of GPT OSS isn't just about chasing the leaderboard for better performance. No, it's about a clear shift in the direction where OpenAI, who's clearly the leader in this space, is signaling the importance of accessibility of models and real world usability of the model. So OpenAI's decision to release the OSS model is a big statement on how the industry might be shaped in the coming months.